Okay, hello, hello, and welcome to Toodles World. Today's video is my September TBR. Next year's TBR is going to be a little bit different. I think I'm just going to rub maybe a book. I'm going to have my, my two friends pick books to put emojis on my Facebook page. I have books that I have. And get them to put an emoji on books they want me to read, even if I've already read it this year or last year. Even if I've already read it, I'll read it again. So let's get into these books. And then I have two I'm going to unwrap. One from this shelf and one from the shelf behind me. The first book is A New York Bedtime Seller. It's by Christina McMorris and it's called Soda on a Monday. And I did get this book for my friend Rebecca because... I wanted to do a buddy read with her, but she didn't come back to me about doing a buddy read, so I thought it would be a good book to read this month. Um, this one, Erikia Johnson, Jensen, and it's The Fate of Caring. I believe this is supposed to be a mystery novel, and I think there's, um... I believe, let's see, yeah, there's The Queen of Caring and The Variation of Caring on Volume 1 and 2, so I don't know if this is, this is in a book series, I don't know what book this is, this could be the third book in that series, um, I don't know, but wait. No, I don't know. I didn't write, but I'm going to read it no matter what book it is in the series. I picked it to read it. The other one is by Sarah Rayner, and it's One Morning, One Moment, or One Moment, One Morning, and I started reading this once, and I just, I actually never did finish it. I got into reading Frida McFadden and other authors that got me better so that was pretty stay tuned for another video um actually a video be there is gonna be a video before this one that will be uploaded um i'm gonna get into some of my books back here that are that are spooky books i'm gonna call them spooky mysteries romance not romance but mysteries Another book is The Kite Runner. I watched the movie. I really didn't care too much for the movie. But I thought I would try to read the book. If I don't like it, I will DNF it and get rid of the book as well. If I de re start reading it and DNF it before I give my good friend Rebecca the book, I'll probably put it in her book. Let her have it. Then I got Sweet Gazor by Rose Lenner. Oh, this book. This is a book series, I believe. And I believe, yeah, it's like this up. This is book one in the book series. I want to read this book. If I like it, I want to get all the books. And then I will eventually, I have so many book series books, I've got difficult to them. I just found out that. Kate Roberts has another book coming out with, with, for the Olympia series, The Neon God book was amazing. I love her writing. I loved it. It's kind of, mm, it's got some spice in them books, baby. Okay. For the shelf over here, I picked number two. So let's see what book number two is. Dear Mrs. Lonely Heart, not bad, not bad at all, not bad at all, yeah, this book in 2023, this book is not bad at all. So, I can't wait. So, 
to read this book. I'm going to make a little bookmarker for it. Before I, when I put the books over here to read, I always make the old paper with it, and I always put it for chapter one, so it's there. Number, this one I picked number ten. I kept drawing numbers, and I kept drawing a number. And the number I was drawing is, I don't have that book. I believe, yep, this is a book my son got me one year for my birthday. And I kind of fibbed and told him I read it already when I didn't. I know that he probably, and my son, my grandson, and my daughter-in-law got me. Because he knows I'm into Christian books. Help us cure. Two miles from Josh, D, and Kai. Oh, my gosh. But I'm not going to, I'm going to keep the book. If I don't like it, I want to keep it, even if I don't like it, because it's like, I would get my husband to see. I doubt he would read it. But I don't really want to get rid of it because if I pass away, my son and my daughter-in-law is getting all my books because she's a really, really good book reader. And I have some, she has came into my office, she has looked at some of these books that I have, and she has said, Mom, I want, and, you know, and she will get, my, all, most of my books will go to her, and if there's any that she has, that I have, um, she can do with whatever. They can do with whatever the book they want to do when I'm done. But what I might end up telling them to do is take them to the local report library. Because they have all your, every day is library. You know, yesterday they put out new books. And I was going to go today to the library. But I didn't feel like it. I was going to have my husband drop me off at the library. But I didn't feel like it. I felt like crap. I didn't put on makeup on my eyes to do my eyes. And I still felt like oh. Tomorrow I go to the doctor. So. You'll see what happens then. Till next time guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did. Give it a thumbs up. Until next time. Bye guys.